Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Darcy Gonaga, CEO of the laws of the internet.com and I really want to talk to you about something extremely important. Most of the time, we don't really talk about uh, that aspect on social media. Um, these three ways, or three ways you need to conduct a campaign on social media. I will be very short because I'm in between session now until the next flow of people coming. And while I was teaching our real estate investors uh, live uh, today about how to use social media properly, there's a lot of people who say that social media is free, or just free to use, all you have to do is videos and be consistent. It used to be true in 2009, in 2014. Now social media, especially Facebook and YouTube, now become um, a game that you have to pay to play. You have to pay to play, and you have to understand the, um, the way Facebook uh, charge um, people. It means that whenever you see that, oh, you need to run a campaign, or uh, you need to run an ad, or do this Facebook ad really work? Do I really need to use Facebook? Do Facebook can work my business? What is the social media business model? What is the internet business model? You see, whenever you conduct a business, you need to make sure that you have what we call a business model. The retail business they have a business model. Universities, they have a business model. The airlines company, they have a business model. So if you have a business and you want to make sure that you market your business on social media, you need to have a business model as well. So let me talk about the three ways. These three ways, I'm not going to use that, that um, board. These three ways that I want you to understand. There's what we call the organic traffic, there's the viral traffic, and the paid traffic. If you don't understand those three elements, everything that you're doing on social media, you're working too hard. Because business is about leverage. And leverage, the way you use leverage in business is according to your knowledge and experience. Everybody can get information, but it becomes knowledge when it becomes applicable. So if you never apply that knowledge, is not what you call knowledge. And that knowledge now, when you do it over and over again, it becomes tested knowledge and that becomes wisdom. And now you have the experience to conduct, like I'm doing now, seminar worldwide uh, on the internet. And uh, I was just talking to someone, just uh, a side note. I was teaching a class in Australia through live streaming to uh, 25 business people. I was so happy to make money in my home office teaching people in Australia. I was just tired because of a time difference. But that's the beauty of a leverage when you know how to use social media and technology to enhance yourself or somebody else. I hope that you, you, you catch that. It's extremely important for you to understand what I'm talking about. So how do you have the organic traffic? The organic traffic, that's the number one element. The, num the, um, the organic traffic is when you post something on Facebook only 3% of your following are able to see that post, unless 10 or more people, according to your, follow to your following, uh, can click on that link. Okay? So when you post something in the morning, and you, you call your friend, did you see my post? Say no. Say, oh my God, I posted this morning. Yeah. But people don't come on Facebook at the same time. So for you to be effective in organic traffic, you need to post five times a day. In the morning, when you get up, very early, 6 o'clock, 9, before you go to work, at noon, at your lunch break, at 5 p.m. when everybody get off, and before you go to bed. And you have to do that for one week for your entire following to have a chance to be able to see what you're posting. You understand that? That's number one. And I'm going fast because I don't have a lot of time. Number two, something going viral. When something going viral, it means that your content is so good, like a lot of your friends start sharing that content and that content going to different people. And on that content, on that link or that post, you have something will link back to your website or link back to a course or link back to a free offer or link back to another social media campaign that you have. That's how something goes viral. So they always know the originator, where it's coming from, who, who started it. Okay? It's extremely important to have that. Number three, paid traffic. So when you, 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 you're done with your organic traffic and your viral traffic, now you uh, make a, um, 
you analyze what was your best post and the, your best post will, will, will work organically and uh, we went viral now you take the same post and now you pay for it and that's this is a small cycle a small basis of business that you have to do so if you have a business on social media and you are not doing this you're not doing business on social media all you do you do a random post and you hope that out of the sky you're going to be successful on social media it will not happen so remember those three elements it don't take long I got so much uh, more information about different courses I'm teaching in more details. I can come to your organization, I can come to your church, I can come to um, a, your private mastermind to teach you the strategy in detail so you understand I was able to reach more than 3 million people on social media in a few years. Actual 3 million people, not a potential, I reached 3 million people. So I did that. So I want to make sure that you understand how to do it. And when you're doing it, in that type of fashion. You don't have to post a check. You don't have to post a picture of cash of money. Your result will talk for you. See you next time. This is Dr. Gandega. Bye-bye.